Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. So guys, recently, and I'm sure that you've heard of this, uh, CCleaner has been hacked multiple times. Most recently, uh, late 2023. Um, nothing that I've heard of recently, 2024. But the purpose of this video is to basically just shed a little bit of light on that if you weren't aware of it, and let you know that there is a pretty decent alternative to CCleaner. Uh, but yeah, if you look at this article here at Tech Radar, I'll link it down in the description below. Um, it goes on to uh, advise users basically how CCleaner was hacked. Again, uh, from those hackings, the hackers were able to get uh, customers' names, contact info, and information on other products that those customers have purchased. Now, I've done a video kind of on this in the past. And, you know, as long as you are using, in fact, let me bring up CCleaner. As long as you are using the free version of CCleaner and you haven't purchased anything from them, obviously they don't have your info and you're safe. And that's what I do. I still use the, the free version. And all I do is do the custom clean here with those settings. And then I will clear out the registry. Whether that does any good or not, there's controversy on that. Um, you know, but it seems to work pretty well if you're just using those two things uh, on the free version. Um, so yeah, again, CCleaner was hacked again, uh, late 2023, nothing new as far as I know, but I wanted to show you guys an alternative. Now the alternative, let me just close this here and bring this over here. The alternative is going to be Microsoft's Key Manager. It is completely free. Um, you can actually try to go to pcmanager.microsoft.com. You might get this icon, say coming soon. If you don't, you just get a uh, basically a button that opens your Microsoft Store because it is available in the Microsoft Store. So you'll have to open that up. And then you'll just search for PC Manager. And that is it right there. And it will allow you to download it from here. Now, mine is already installed, downloaded and installed, so I can open it from here. But again, open up your Microsoft Store, grab PC Manager, and then we can take a look at that further. So I have mine open, I believe. Yep, and I'm just going to go ahead and click on that and open it. And I'll show you guys some of the basics here. Now, I, let's just start at the top with Home. It will tell you here your memory usage. Um, and how much you have in temp files and what you can do. I probably won't go through any of these because I just don't want to make the video longer than it needs to be. But you can click boost on this and it will clear out anything that you don't need to be using. It'll clear out your temp files. Uh, you can do a health check, which is pretty cool. It will scan different things and tell you caches and stuff like that. And you, of course, once you hit proceed, of course, after checking everything that you want to clear out, you hit proceed. It will clear those out for you. Um, but let's go back to home here. Um, yeah, this will show you the processes that you have running right now. And if you need to end any of those, you can just end them here instead of going into task manager. And we go here to deep clean. And this will scan your drives in your system and find cleaned up. Like this has found some update logs, Windows update logs, taking up 452 megabytes, Windows errors, Defender logs, temp files, stuff like that. Um, so again, you can scroll down here to different application ca caches, select those, web cache, undo edge, because I use that to monitor my cameras. Let's see, let's just proceed with that, and it will go through and clean those up. Really not a lot of memory was taken there, um, so that it was really quick there. Now we're back to the ZK temp files here. And this option here, startup, is kind of cool because I've done videos before where I show you guys how to disable uh, applications on startup that don't need to be running when the computer starts because it takes memory. Um, so this little tool actually has the startup tab. You can kind of just go in and tell it what you want to start when the PC starts and turn off what you don't need. So that part is kind of cool too. Uh, let's move down to protection here. And this is kind of just like a quick access for some settings, what it seems like. 
Um, so you can do a virus and threat protection, and that just works through your Microsoft Windows Defender. Uh, this is just an easy way to get to it. Uh, you can see if you have any Windows updates. Um, I obviously have one that I need to do. Um, your default browser, mine's set to Chrome. Um, I don't like any other browser to be my default, so we leave that as that. If you have any taskbar issues, pair them here. This will restart, <clears throat> excuse me, restore all of your default apps. So if you've made some of your apps uh, default, uh, this will set that all back. I don't recommend that unless you're having problems. And this, of course, down here will manage your pop-ups. And if we go down here to storage, kind of the same thing that we saw before. We can do a deep clean. It will scan everything. Um, this will here, downloaded files, will take you to your downloads folder. Um, this will detect what large files are being are taking up space in your system and you can search the different drives in your computer. That's actually a pretty nice option to have because sometimes, you know, people will have a full drive and they don't really know what is causing that drive to be. That's a nice way to filter that out. And this is kind of cool because it will go in and find duplicate files. Um, so if you put think that you're taking up space because you have many duplicate files, uh, you can choose your drive and just click that and it will go through and find duplicates and that way you delete uh, the second copy of whatever files. And storage sense is kind of built into Windows. Um, it'll automatically clean up temp files. It's not something I use, but you can check that out. Uh, if we move down the line here, apps, it'll tell you how many are running or which apps are running and how many. So you've got 17 running now. Uh, these are the ones startups and then you can just manage your apps like you can through you know window settings and then the microsoft store which we into we move down to the toolbox here has a bunch of other cool little tools i haven't used any of these yet um you know as far as screenshots screenshot folders calculator notepad a uh, nice little central location anyway guys it's just a cool little way to keep things cleaned up um, if you don't want to use CCleaner because of their bad press in lately, um, nice little free application and available in the Microsoft Store. Anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I hope it helped you out. If it did, hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing to for future content. Thanks, guys.